Uh, so in my many, many years of study and research and in all my travels across the world, I have, you know, come to the conclusion, after asking a lot of people, doing a lot of interviews and all of that, I've come to the conclusion, I've been able to ascertain that nobody likes to fail. Nobody wants to feel less than, nobody wants to feel like they've achieved less than their potential. As you can see, nobody wants to score below the pass mark. Even worse, if you are someone that scores 49.7 and the pass mark is 50. Shubhan? Okay, so that has actually happened to me. I am the 49.7 guy, yeah, I know. Uh, 49.7, it was in, I think, anatomy, thorax and abdomen. I'm telling you guys this so that you know that, yeah, I have failed. Not once, not twice in medical school. I am a person that is well acquainted with failure. That sounds weird, but yes, I am well acquainted with failure in medical school. So I kind of deserve the responsibility and the uh, authority that the HMS gods have bestowed upon me today to talk about failure. So here are three things that I feel that you need to know, you should know, you have to know about failure in medical school. The first point is that failure is not the issue. You see, in life, there are some things that are just natural, some things that are just naturally occurring elements to everybody's life, and it is the same across the board for every single person. We had, um, a, we had orientation for 400 level. Uh, did, did I mention that I am in, I am now a clinical student, past MBBS Power One. It's nice that I just wanted to t let you guys, let you guys in on that. Um, so we had orientation for 400 level. One of our lecturers, was talking about how failure is just a natural part of life and that we should come to that understanding now so that we don't have problems later in the future. She did not tell us how to handle failure, but she told us that we need to know that failure is something that is just, it's natural. For, for every, if you, if you listen to anybody give a story or um, talk about their life, maybe a biography or something, they always talk about both the successes and the failure. That means failure is kind of attached to every success story. There's a valley for every hill. If you see a hill, that means there's a valley somewhere. If you see an open field, there is, that means there's a cave somewhere. If you, you know that there is black because there is white, it is just natural. I want you to know that there is a purpose or there is a reason for all the, for the valleys in life, for the blacks in life, for the failures in life. That brings me to my second point, which is that failure has a purpose. Fail, there is a reason for failure. You see, perspective in everything matters. Usually when we are faced with failure, we have two options. We can either sit down and lament and ask God, why, why is this happening to me of all people? Why is it that my friend scored 60 and I'm scoring my shoe size? Why is it that the lecturer is bald? I have no idea how that relates, but we ask ourselves these questions. Or, or, or the second option is that we can sit up and actually learn from those mistakes and then move on. It's, um, I'm, I, there was a time I used to hate the fact that medical school had so many tests and so many in courses. But after doing, MB, did I tell you guys that I just finished MBBS part one? I just, I, I just, I thought maybe you forgot, I just wanted to remind you. After doing MBBS part one, I actually discovered that I'm actually grateful for the fact that we had so many in courses and so many tests. So like I made all my mistakes during those in courses, I made them during those tests and I learned from those failures so that when I got into the exam, I already knew how they set questions, how they mark scripts and all of that. So I was better prepared for the exam because of those failures. So that is my, <laughs> I want to say admonition, but I would, <laughs> that is my word of advice to you guys, that you should learn from your mistakes, learn from the failures instead of, you know, letting, everything just my last point point number three is more of an acknowledgement because if i just say the two points like hey yeah the reason why failure is killing you or you're having depression and all of that is because you don't have 20 20 vision you know you're using glasses but you still cannot see clearly and all I'm, I'm not being real okay because i have felt the the sting of failure before i have been that guy that spent an extra year at home because I couldn't get into school. I have been that guy that crammed my friend's matric number because I wanted to see how far behind average I really was. It's, it's, it's something that I have experienced, so I know that it is going to hurt, okay? It's going to feel like crap. In fact, you might feel like crap right now, but I just want to let you know that there is a crown at the end of all this crap. All right, if you just push through this, if you do not give up, they, they, we, at the end of the day, we are all going to get that certificate that says a bunch of stuff that none of us know what it means yet or the value of yet, but I know that it will say that you fought, you conquered, you, sorry, that you, <laughs> that you came, 
You fought and you conquered. Can I get an amen, somebody? Anybody? Okay, all right, no, nobody. Okay, uh, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you like the video, then like I always say, like the video. If this video has blessed you or if it has helped you, I keep saying blessed. No. <laughs> if this video has helped you in any way, make sure you share it with some of your friends. And we, we noticed that most of the people that are watching our videos aren't subscribed. So if you're a medical student, a nursing student, physiology, anatomy, computer science student, subscribe because we don't just do content for you know the medical people, we do it for everybody. So let's subscribe and let's share with our friends so that we can build our family um till next time this is the saying you can be doctor and happy